Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a look through classic James Bond gum series, all from the 1960s. Now this week I'm joined by my friend Andy. Andy and I go back a long way. We've known each other for about 30 years and Andy's got one of the finest trading card collections in existence, in my humble opinion. Um, so I'm delighted that he's brought round his early James Bond series for us to have a look at today. So without further ado, sit back, relax and let's get to it. Okay then, Andy, so what have we got here then? So this is a wrapper, first of all. Some Portex, I see. That's the wrapper for the very first ever James Bond gum card set. That's what we're going to be looking at today. And I see it says London there, so this is British, yeah? This is British, yeah. So we're going to be looking at all the uh, James Bond gum series of the 60s, all the English language ones. There were Italian ones. Oh, wow. We won't be covering those, because basically, <laughs> I don't own them. So that, <laughs> well, this is fantastic. That is that. An original wrapper. wrapper. That's the first wrapper. Um, the company was Sompatex, a London company. Yeah. Uh, it says dandy, because Sompatex didn't actually have their own machines to make the cards. So other people made them for them, and they just marketed them. Right. Dandy Gum was a Danish company, and they did some of the early Sompatex sets. Wow, incredible. So, so that was the wrapper they came in. That's and that was, uh, did it say a, a set of 60, did I see? Uh, it is 60 for the first 60, one. 60, right. This, this, uh, this set is known as James Bond Film Scenes. Um, as you can see on the wrapper, ah, yeah. uh, if you sent away so, 12 of the wrappers, you got a badge. Right, okay, uh, yeah. Badge. Um, and this is pictures from Book to Know, Goldfinger, and from Russia with Love. Yeah, it's, it's from 1964. Um... First three films, uh, released really for the time of time with Goldfinger, but it has pictures from all three films. And blank backs. And blank backs. Right, so no making up a picture like I was used to nope. with my Star Wars nope, cards. No, no composite picture. So these are good. Some of these, obviously, I recognise the the the, uh, the the stills, like that one from uh, um, from Russia with Love, but others I don't recognize the pictures which is great yeah um, quite a mixture yeah uh, as you can see a lot of the pictures are of the ladies, ladies, ladies <laughs> in a state of undress which caused quite a problem at the time oh, right. um, yeah. there was MPs got involved wow um, really it made the front page of the Daily Mirror in December 1964 what about these these yeah. very cards yeah. People wow parents were complaining that children were being sold cards okay. with you know, half-naked women. I suppose uh, they've got a point. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it, it made TV. <laughs> there was something, there was a show called On the Braden Beat on ITV, right, yeah. uh, which was uh, a sort of topical consumer affairs show hosted by Bernard Braden. Mm. Um, there was a piece on that about them. Wow. Yeah, uh, if we could just go to yeah. this one. Oh, yeah, Shirley Eaton, yeah. There are variations with these cards. Oh, okay. Um, most of them are very minor, just different, slightly different sizings of the photos. Mm. Um, there's two of them that are a bit more interesting. There is another version of that card, the Shirley Eaton one. Um, it's the same photo session. She's just looking up instead right. of looking down. Um, that's one of, the, one of the more notable couple of uh, variations with the set. Oh, okay. okay. Um, such was the fuss about these. They were actually withdrawn from sale. Really? Yeah, um, really? and they quickly put out the second set. Yeah. Because they weren't so badly, but uh, yeah, they, it was it was getting a bit too heated, I think, so they actually withdrew them from sales. So. Wow, that's incredible. Fair. So that makes them rare today. Yeah, and, and apparently number card, card number 59 was very hard to get at the time, oh, well. leading to rumours of it possibly being short printed. Ah, right. Oh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. They are a bit risque, I suppose, they for are. the period, they are. you know? Yeah. Be a bit risky. It now. reminds me of um, uh, th there is a book called For Bond Lovers Only, which isn't a Fleming one. It's about the Bond phenomenon, and that's got a really it's got a really big photo insert, and all the photos are like this. Yeah, it's it's really uh, sought yeah. after. Now this is the other one, the Cena Marshall card, the one, oh, which yeah. is another interesting variation, which is very rare. Yeah. If you see that original photo, Bond's arm is here, and he's actually got his hand on a backside. Ah. <laughs> his, his shoulder and arm. Um, there is a version with the uncropped photo, with the oh, unaltered right. photo, which is very rare. Wow, but, uh, most of them like that one. Incredible. And then number fifty-nine. Number fifty-nine. That's that one, one from Goldfinger. To be, yeah, it's supposed to be a rare one. Yeah. Interesting. And it's a nice set, isn't it? It is. Have they ever been reprinted? Yes, um, they came out in about 1997. Yeah, um, there's a company called Daylon reprinted them. They're in a in a little 
plastic attaché case. Oh, right, yeah. Um, limited to 3,000, and they're actually marketed as 5,000 sets. They only actually printed 3,000. Right. Uh, they're the only 60s Bond set to ever have been reprinted. It was projected to be the first of a series, the only one that ever came out. Oh, brilliant. And um, what does the set go for today? This set... In the hundreds, um, I'm not really. really it's yeah. a while since I got my set, so I'm not really up on current prices. Yeah. Um, but yeah, been in the hundreds, yeah. Probably, yeah. 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 Hundred, a couple of hundred, maybe. Not really sure of the current prices. Wow, we. That's lovely. Lovely to see. Okay, so here's the second set, which right. we're going to rush released after the first set was withdrawn. So these are from 1965, a set of 50, mm. the exciting world of James Bond. Right. Um, similar sort of wrapper, different colours. Um, very hard wrapper to get that one. Mm. Um, again, you sent away uh, ten wrappers, and you got a different badge. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it says 007 badge for yeah. yeah, and and again, they're a mixture of cards from the first three films, but no half naked women this time. Right, I see. Um, so they've uh... more cards of the Aston Martin, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. So yeah, and a few uh, sideways on ones yeah. as well. Yeah, a few landscape ones. Yeah. Ah, now they have a back, yeah. Yes. I do vaguely remember having a few of these through my yeah. hands over the years. Yeah. Again, these, these were produced in Denmark by Dandy Gum um, for Sompatex. Very, very nice. Rather interesting shots of the Aston Martin there. Yeah, I bet. Including gadgets yeah. which were not in the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> And these cards at the bottom here, yeah, the um, guns, the guns of Bond. There's some more of the page. Mm -hmm. um, they were taken from a magazine article. Those photos. Oh, really? Which was in a Sunday Times Sunday supplement. <laughs> the guns of James Bond. And they, and they used they it used for. Uh... Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely, fantastic. So that's that set. Now, Thunderball. Thunderball. The third Sompatex set. Yeah. So this is a set of seventy-two. Um. Nothing about dandy gum on the wrapper, so no. I reckon these were probably made by Monty Gum in the Netherlands, who made a number of sets for Sompatex in the sixties. Yeah, um, didn't do, didn't last very long. Sompatex, they only really released cards for about four years, but right. they're a very collectible company. That most of their sets were licensed pro uh, from movies or TV. And yeah, they, yeah, they did a lot of interesting sets. Very, very nice. Yeah, they, they did continue after. 68, it was about 64 to 68 they released things, but uh, they didn't do cards after that. Um, and what did send 12 wrappers? What, yeah, that was that for another that badge? That was for a secret agent identity card. Oh, right. Yeah, which is nice. <laughs> it was a um, fold out bit like ID card, really. It's yeah. just red and black on one side. Black and white on the other. Oh, brilliant. Um, yeah, don't have one, unfortunately. So are these completely all Thunderball, then? All these These are Thunderball. Stills. This is purely a Thunderball set, yes, from 1965. Lovely. Uh -huh, uh, now, quite a distinctive back there, yeah, isn't it? Nicely yeah. designed. And, and an offer for a gun as well. You can mail away for a gun, so Sompatex must have held uh, stocks of that. Blimey. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, Thunderball had all those underwater scenes, didn't they? Yes, there are some shots from that. Yeah. Um, now, some cards, this card went to a reprint, and some cards were altered. We'll get to those at the end. That is one that was altered. That caused a stir at the time, because obviously in the film, that's not a woman. No, but no. Bubblegum bubble card, sold to kids, looks like Bond's hitting a woman. That, right. That card was withdrawn. It's scarcer. Uh-huh. Yeah. There was a bit of to do about that. Interesting. Well. Yeah. Yeah, number 24. Again, lots of nice shots of the Aston, the Aston Martin. Martin yeah. Including gadgets which were never shown the phone, the gun tray. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Lovely. I'd still like to get those for my car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice set, this. And 70 is quite a few, isn't it? And it's the is. biggest set, yeah. Yeah, 72. Or 72, 72. rather, yeah. Yeah, 72. 
So these six are when the set was reprinted. Obviously, mm. they replaced number 24 because that was the one that was withdrawn with yeah. Bond uh, punching a woman. Um, and they actually replaced another five. Right. Um, more, mostly more shots from the underwater battle and, and a couple more of the Junkanoo. Um, right. There is another one whereby in the reprint they they transposed the numbers of issues uh, sort of sorry cards one and three yeah um which is a less interesting variation but it does exist if anybody wants everything uh but yeah the, these are the six that they uh, they changed right they're, brilliant they're the reprint versions that's fantastic okay then andy so you've got your collection of these uh, little promotional badges they're absolutely amazing i love the display that you've got on them so can you tell us a little bit more about those certainly um we're principally talking about the James Bond ones today. So um, these two are the Sompatex badges from the first two ever James Bond card sets. They were mail-away badges. You yeah. had to send away, I think it was 12 wrappers for that one, 10 wrappers for that one. Oh. And this one was a mail-away badge for the first American James Bond set, the first Philadelphia gum set. Oh, wow. uh, you got that and... Um, some kind of ID card as well. So you had to actually send the wrappers in? Yeah. These, these <laughs> no, all, they, what a they, nightmare. The Bond ones were all mail-away items. Right. Uh, that, as you can see, is a Bazooka Joe oh, Club one yeah. from the 60s. That is a little bit faded, but it's a rare badge. It's the best I've got. That's a 1950s uh, Chicks Confectionery Soccer Bubblegum Club members badge. Oh, wow, also yeah. in some kind of mail-away item. Yeah. Uh, that is a very early A&BC badge, British company. All from their all sport. sports set, yeah. which is uh, quite an early AMBC, early British gum card sets from about 1954. Brilliant. These two are late 50s, I think, um, Anglo bubblegum ones. This is the actual bag that those two came in. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a retailer's bag. and you, um, Mr. Retailer. Mr. Retailer. 20, <laughs> 24 Anglo bubbly wrappers got you one of those. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> the Batman badges. Yeah. The Monkeys badges. The Uncle Badges, they're all A and B C badges. Right. Uh, British Gum Company. They're all 60s. Um, I think they were used as promotional items, but I believe they were also in gum machi gumball machines. Ah, right. I was going to say, how did you get hold yeah, of them? Yeah, I think they were in gumball machines as well. Um, so you put in your what, penny. You put in your penny. You've got a, a round ball of bubble gum, and hopefully you've got some kind of little trinket, a charm, a badge. If you were lucky, Brilliant. you got a Batman badge. And that's the full set of Uncle... That's the full the set of monkeys. Uncles, all four Uncles. That's the hardest one to get, Waverly. Oh, yeah. That's your five Who monkeys. Who wants a badge with Waverly? I know, I know. Every, every child's dream. Um, <laughs> and uh, these are the, uh, the the Batman ones. I think the slightly design... The design on those four is a bit yeah. different to the design on those. They, they might have come out in two different waves. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's the story of those. Very, very nice. I really like the way you've got those displayed. And this is just a bit of, like, a comic board, but you've blue tack them down. It's just blue tack in and the blue tack. I, I always keep an eye on it in case there's any... Dis you know, will anything react and discover? Yeah. No, it doesn't it's seem to. It's pretty good stuff. It doesn't seem tack. to. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so what's this then? Okay, now we're going to Secret jump across agent. the Atlantic for uh -huh. two American sets. This is the first Bond American set, uh, James Bond's Secret Agent, 1965. There's the wrapper again. Yeah, there's the wrapper again. And um, another badge. And a mail-away badge. Yeah. <laughs> um, again, like the first two Sompatex sets, it's from the first three movies released in, the, in conjunction with Goldfinger. Right. Um, Lovely. It was also re released in Australia by Scanlon, company in Australia. What, the same series? Same set, but a whiter right. cardstock. But this is the American set. Uh, I think this set's lovely. Yeah. I think it's it's my favourite of probably all the 60s The pictures sets. seem sharper. They're clearer, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, printed, yeah, it's, yeah. You almost see it straight away, don't you? because yeah. it's American presses, yeah. Look at those yeah. backs, yeah. yeah. Really like this set. Do you think that's because the Americans had had more experience with bubblegum cards? Maybe a little. Different machines as well. Uh, right. Larger, better printing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because American gum cards go back to the early 30s. Ah, there but you go, Britain, yeah. 1953, when Sweet Ratchetoning completely ended. Right. Ah, that happened. makes sense, yeah. Of course. So, yeah, lots of great photos. Very Some much so. from the, uh, from the, the other sets. sets. But that's bound to happen. But yeah. even so, that this is a really nice set, isn't yes. it? Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah. 
Of course, we didn't actually talk about the value of the last set. A similar sort of thing in, in the yes. hundreds nowadays, yeah. 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 If, if you want really nice mints. Nice mints. copies, you yeah. Can, you might be able to put a set together, together for less, but... Yeah, they're a very nice set, please. And how long did it take you to sort of amass some of these? Did you buy them in sets or you put them together Most as... Most of them, I bought them in. I mean, these... Obviously not the American ones, but the, the earlier Sompertex ones before my time in collecting. I really yeah. started collecting cards autumn 66 when I was right. five. Yeah. <laughs> um, so those are before my time. So yeah, yeah I, I bought them in the sets. Yeah, most oh, of these. Fair enough. With one exception, which we'll get to. Okay. Yes. That's a, that's a great, great yeah, set, it's a isn't it? Set. Very, very nice indeed. And uh, now so look at this. the James Bond Thunderball set. Okay. So uh, in every pack you got this little code capsule, as they call it, little mm -hmm. decoder. Um, there are um, co messages in secret code on the back of every card, so you can use that to decode it. One of those was in every pack. There are actually three different wrappers with three different things you could send away for for 75 cents. That one's a, the Codomatic, which yeah. was a plastic Sort of little decoding device. Right. Um, there was also one for uh, a T-shirt with a little 007 lo logo over the yeah. left top uh, breast area, uh, and something called uh, an exploding code book. I don't know what that did. But no. I, want, I want one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But a nice yeah, wrapper. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah it's a very nice wrapper, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Using artwork from the movie poster. And the little decoder there. That's incredible. And that was in every pack. That was then. in every pack. They were, we were, they were sport, weren't they? They were, yeah. And then the same nice, larger, yeah, clear again, photos again. That size, yeah. Again, a very nice set. Yes, I think indeed. this one's a bit scarcer of the two American sets. This one seems to be the scarcer of the two. This is just called James Bond Secret Agent. Thunderball, yeah. But it is Thunderball. the Thunderball. 1966, one. this right. one was, um, I believe. But yeah, it seems to be the scarcer of the two American ones. Whereas of the Sompertex ones, I think the Thunderball one is the... Least scarce. Right. It flips the other way. But again, yeah, very nice selection. Very indeed, it. yeah. Loads I haven't seen here. Mm. They must have really gone through the archive yeah. to uh, to get interesting shots. Yeah. Great stuff. Yes, I've just never seen some of these pictures. <laughs> okay. Now this looks interesting. Now, What's all this? Is, this is a very strange set and yeah. unique. I've never seen another set released like this. This is You Only Live Twice Chew and Colour View wow. set, <laughs> which is a set of uh, 26 strips of three 35 millimeter transparencies. Wow. So 78 slides in all, because you yeah. put many slides with them. So, Couple of different types of wrapper. That's the more yeah. common one. We'll see the other one in a second. And in every packet, you got I think a couple of these mm. and one of these temporary slides. I Permanent see. mounts available from Kissy Suzuki. <laughs> so that's what she oh was, yeah, that's what she was doing after all that volcano business. Ah, I see, yeah. Probably a welcome change of pace. <laughs> um, you got one of those in every one to make a temporary slide. The idea was that you would uh, put them in a slide viewer. Right. Um, and they actually work like slides. Yeah. Like the normal picture. Yeah, lit up and magnified. That's incredible. You could, you could send away for a slide viewer. Yeah. There is an offer on the, the packets. Um, you could send away for permanent slides as well. How to get your viewing kit. That's oh, it. Yeah. That's it. Incredible. Yeah. Um, and if you, it was a little plastic slide viewer, the basic one, and that came with a really lovely little booklet, oh. an illustrated booklet telling the, how to use it and the story of the film. Oh, that's brilliant. Which I don't have. I wish I had. Okay, <laughs> on the wants uh, list. Yes, please. And this is the other... That's the other packet, which I think is the scarcer one. This is kind yeah. of a heat-sealed packet, the yeah. previous one. This one's, uh, when you turn it over, you'll see is a, a f kind of you know, flip-top paper pack. I, I, I see. It's yeah, a harder yeah, one yeah. to get, that is. Brilliant. And then the packets are longer because they've got these, these strips yeah, of slides yeah, in there. They're, they're elongated, yeah. Wow. So, uh, and how many different ones? Well, there's, seven, there's 26... By three, so 78 different pictures, oh, right. although they yeah. did make a mistake and one of the pictures are duplicated. Okay. Um, these were made for Sompertex by a British company 
called Park Shot Paper Products of Richmond in Surrey. Mm -hmm. um, this Chew and Colour View idea, it was going to be the first of a series of Chew and Colour View sets. Mm -hmm. They were going to do more along the lines of lost tribes of the Kalahari and um, famous battles and around the world with Sir Francis Chichester, things oh, yeah. like that. Never happened. This was the only one. Wow. Unique set. It seems a great idea yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah. God, they're very thin, aren't they? They are. That's a very hard set to find. I bet, yeah. Definitely one of the priciest ones. <sighs> so was, what are you talking on one of these? Then? I don't know what they go for now. Um, well, individual, I, in an in, in, um, individual slide? Um... I'll just say, depend on the condition. Yeah. Um, I got that set at one of the NEC toy fairs, and I'm, this would have been a late night, probably early noughties, mm. uh, maybe 2005, something like that. Yeah. And I paid 225 for it then, and I snapped the guy's hand off. Yeah. That was cheap. Then. Yeah, wow. So they're pricey. Um, that's the one here somewhere with the duplicated photo. Ah, uh, right. There. Oh, yeah. So there's all the rest are like unique, 78 yeah. slides, but there's only really 77 different Incredible. Items. So if anyone's got one of them at home. Yeah, indeed. Doing and very, now, your favourite well. Bond film. Indeed. On Her Majesty's Secret Service. It and is this, indeed. This is the one I really remember collecting as a kid. I had a few of the slides, but I did collect these. So these are 6970. Obviously, the movie actually opened, I believe, in uh, December 69. I remember getting these in early 1970. Yeah. Different company, Anglo, British company, um, based in Halifax. Mm. Did a number of sets at the time. There are actually four different wrappers for this, four different colours, which is quite typical of Anglo. Right. Um, different colours here. So to get the boxes looking a bit more colourful, yeah, maybe. Yeah, a bit more colourful. Yeah. Anglo tended to do this. Um, I have the green one. Um, they're, all, they're all yellow. There's a sky blue one, a purple one, and I think a pinky red one. I think right. Hard wrappers to get. Really yeah. tricky, and this is probably the priciest bond set of the sixties. Is it indeed? Yeah, right. It's, it's a hard one to get. Um, as I say, I, I had some of them at the time, yeah, and I completed them in the eighties and nineties gradually. But very nice set and first actual colour bond card set. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, indeed. I, I, I've had a few. We had some in the shop, didn't we, back in the yes, day? But yeah, uh, we never had a set. Yeah. Um, to, okay. to see them in a set. And we're back to the, the, the smaller British size yeah. now, aren't we? Yeah, indeed. And does it tell the story? Yes, oh, yeah, it tells the story of the, of the film, yeah. But a very nice set. Yeah. yeah. And have you sort of upgraded some of yours? Because I see they're all really nicely mm, centred in there. A few here and there, hopefully, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all photos apart from the very last card, which for some reason is artwork. Oh, right. Presumably they couldn't get a suitable still of what they wanted to yeah. show. Yeah, I mean, I remember seeing these like in catalogues and seeing them in like a five or a card or mm. something like that. Um, but yeah, as a set with the wrapper as well. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, still a great film. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favourite? Yes. And there we go. And that last the one last, then is, a, is a painting, is, is artwork. it? Yeah, don't Would know have it. But that was the last gun card set, really, of Bond to Moonraker. Right, which, yeah, yeah, yeah in the 70s. Right, it was the last yeah. one for about 10 years, yeah. Wow. The Moonraker ones were next, the Moonraker, the American gun card set. And those Imagine ones. some of the early Bond ones. Sweet and, uh, early Roger Moore's. Yeah. yeah. That's brilliant. They're fantastic to see, Andy. Really, really good. Okay, well, so there we are. I hope you enjoyed looking through the amazing collection of James Bond cards. Now, uh, Andy, you mentioned earlier on that there's an amazing website. Uh, is it a Belgian website which has got a lot of these on? It is. It's called the Ultimate James Bond Trading Card Guide, uh -huh. um, run by a Belgian chap called Mark. Um, yeah, it's got everything on there. Um, all sorts of mail-away items, packaging. Yeah, it, it, it's it's the best site on the net there are others toys of bond yeah there's another site which has some good uh pictures on but uh yeah that's the best oh, one. brilliant well i'll put a link to that one in the description down below so thank you very much for sharing these with us today Andy. you're welcome anytime um yes well we'll have a little thing we'll put our heads together and see what we can come up with next time sure and we'll try and do another video again soon but if you have enjoyed this one do please give it the thumbs up do please hit the subscribe button if you're not already for regular vintage James Bond and trading card content and I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye. Bye.